Hello? Hello, hello. I have here a yo-yo. And the fundamental idea behind a yo-yo is what you see here on the wall. There's an inner cylinder about which the rope is wound. And then there are outer cylinders, two, one on either side. But the rope is wound around the inner one. And so now watch what happens if I simply let the yo-yo go. It falls down. It comes back up again. But that's not what I want you to work on today. I want you to do some calculation on the yo-yo going down. Watch it again. Clearly, the acceleration down must be less than the gravitation of gravity. Because there is always a rope attached to it that pulls up. And so the question this week is, what is that acceleration? For that you have to know about the precise shape of the yo-yo. And we also have to make a few reasonable assumptions. One reasonable assumption is that if the rope is only around the inner portion that the rope is so thin and this part here is wide enough that you can ignore the fact that as a result of the rope being pulled away from the inner cylinder you can ignore the fact that that will decrease the radius of the cylinder. That's one assumption that we can make, which is quite reasonable in many cases. Then there is a second one that I want you to make. The mass of the yo-yo is so much larger than the mass of the string that you can ignore the fact that as the yo-yo goes down, that its mass decreases a little bit. You completely ignore that. So assume that all the mass is in the wood, it's a wooden yo-yo, so all the mass is in here and nothing is in the yo-yo. Uh, sorry, nothing is in the string. This radius of the inner portion is R and the radius of the two outer pieces is 2R. And now comes something that's very important. The width, or we'll call it the thickness of this disc, this is actually a disc, right? The thickness of this disc is identical to the thickness of this disc, and is identical to the thickness of the inner, inner cylinder. Since the inner cylinder has a radius which is half the outer one, this inner portion has one quarter of the mass of the outer disc and therefore also one quarter of the mass of this outer disc. So keep that in mind. So I will show you once more the demo. And the question is, what is the acceleration with which the yo-yo goes down? You ready for this? It's a classic problem. Of course, you can find the solution on the web. If that satisfies you, that's fine. If you send me your answer, it would be nice to also 
tell me a little bit how you arrived at the answer. The answer may surprise you a little, by the way. <laughs> Don't ask me, is my answer correct? Is it not correct? Just wait until I post the solutions. Again, one week from the day that I post this problem, I will post the solutions. Don't ask me, is it right or is it wrong? I'm not even sure whether I will post all the wrong solutions. I probably will not post the perfect solutions, I admit that. But that remains to be seen. It depends on how I feel that day. Okay, so here's the yo-yo. What is the acceleration of this part going down? Have a nice day. Take care. And play with your yo-yo. And we'll be friends.